Hey everybody, happy Monday. Um, just thought I'd stop in and say hey. Uh, thanks so much for all of the uh, great feedback for the river that came out yesterday. Um, it was a pretty kind of cool day celebrating Father's Day. Um, I'm a stepdad. It was kind of cool. Um, my stepkids and my wife uh, celebrate Stepfather's Day. I don't know if there's an actual Stepfather's Day, but um, we celebrated that on Saturday, which was nice. It's always been kind of a weird, um, weird holiday for me being a stepdad, but um, celebrate it on Saturday really kind of helps. Um, but anyway, wow, that was weird. <laughs> I don't know if there's any step parents out there how they how they handle that kind of stuff, but um, yeah, it was a great weekend. Uh, we got to be um, be together and. Um, and then I, yesterday I, uh, did a little bit of a FaceTime, uh, Facebook live with my dad to kind of celebrate Father's Day and talk about the, um, the song we did together. And that was pretty cool. Um, so if you haven't seen that, I think it's out, it's definitely on YouTube, um, or Facebook live, um, a little conversation about where that song kind of came from and talked about growing up um and fatherhood and it's pretty cool um yeah so it's weird i had a um this evening i met with a friend of mine evan blackerby i know i've shared his stuff and we've talked about it before but uh, he's been a good friend of mine um here in high point especially the last i mean i guess we've been friends for maybe half a year now but he's been pretty critical to me um getting back going i know that i did uh, I think I'd been already been working on You Got It, the Roy Orbison song I put out last fall. But um, connecting with him has just been helpful to touch base regularly. Um, he's a musician and, and writer himself, and um, it's just kind of good. He'll, he'll be like, hey, let's get together. And my initial thought is like, oh, I, I, I'm busy. I don't know if I can, you know, I don't know if I can make time. And, um, but... Uh, Whenever I do, I'm always really glad I did. Um, it's uh, it's good. <laughs> wow, it sounds pretty pathetic, but it's good to have friends. It's good to have friends that aren't um, like superficial or shallow, like uh, like that are, are that have some depth to them, right? So you you don't have to just say, "Yeah, how you doing? Oh, great. How are you? Great. Okay, cool." <laughs> you can actually. Uh, talk about real things, whether it be career or family or music or relationships. Um, he's been uh, a really good friend to me. So Evan, I appreciate you. Um, and I also, uh, I guess, suggest to everyone out there that it's good to have friends to talk to. Um, it's good to, I know that sounds so very basic and simple, but it's good to, um, you know, share and listen. You know, I try to, I think with some of my friendships, I've always been the one like, oh, so how are you doing? Like, and just kind of make it about them, which I don't think it's a bad thing, but it's good to have friendships where um, maybe a friend challenges you back and says, well, no, how, how are you doing? Like, what's going on in your life? Um, and uh, I, I feel like I tend to not, I'd be the, you know, the, uh, the one to keep asking because um, I don't want to burden people with, with any of my nonsense but speaking of nonsense all my ramblings so but yeah it's great to have the river out i'm excited about that um and it also kind of i i felt this weird like i had to keep all of that a secret which i don't really understand why because i did promote it a little bit beforehand but now that it's out um I wanted to, uh, I, I'm excited about basically opening up uh, to my songwriting process again. So I've got, a, I've got one song I'm working on now that I'd like to try and finish up. It's basically all the lyrics are written. I'm tweaking a few little lyrics, um, but the arrangement's done. And so I'm hoping that maybe tomorrow night I can send this off to start getting mixed. Um, maybe like little tweaks, edits, and mix um, uh, so that I can kind of move on. I've got a few other songs that are 
I've got drums recorded and I've got a lot of the arrangement kind of sorted, but they're just old and um, I wanna maybe, I got some, I've got some things in my head that I need to get out and I think it maybe is time to just start writing new. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. So I'm gonna try and clear my plate here and get this bad boy off to get mixed um, so that I can uh, work on some new stuff. A little product placement here. I don't know if we got any singers that watch my stuff, but um, one of my favorite things to do when I'm singing, I was singing a little bit tonight, is um, it's called, it's by Traditional Medicinals. Can you see that logo? Probably not. But it's called Throat Coat, and uh, it's just really good tea. They say to steep it, which I guess means to like, boil water, put it in there and put a plate on top of it. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. And then also, it's really good throat spray, fast acting relief, vocal ease. You basically just, three sprays and uh, swallow and works pretty well. I wish I'd had this over the years. The throat kit I've, I've known for a long time, but the spray is pretty good. So I try to, when I know I'm going to be singing the microphone, um, I try and drink a lot of water and um, drink a lot of this tea before before I need it. It kind of helps. So Yeah, uh, what else? Anything else? Uh, my stepson Judah is at a uh, music production camp at NC State right now, which is really exciting. Um, I've kind of been pumped about that for him. He's a like an outstanding bassist and guitar player. He's just been kind of learning and practicing um, big time. And um, he's up there learning, um, checking out the campus and then also learning uh, some music production stuff, which is cool. Just talked to him tonight and uh, he was going crazy with GarageBand, which is Really exciting for me to hear. Um, you know, I remember when he when he first started getting into music, I was trying to show him Pro Tools, and it's uh, it's probably a fault of mine because Pro Tools, especially early on, probably seems really overwhelming. Um, I don't think it is, but I've been using it for a really long time. But you know, even just all of the options, like all of the menus and all of the words and like. Um, Every, you know, when you look up at the menu and all of the drop downs, it's just, it's just a lot. Like when you look at it here, it's just a lot of stuff. And um, it's probably overwhelming uh, for, for someone who's just like trying to do a basic tracking. So um, anyway, I'm excited for that. Um, hopefully he's gonna be able to teach this old dog some new tricks as well. And Volky's down here. Saw on logs. Hey, Ovi. Ovi. Hi. So if you hear any snoring in the background of any of my new songs, you know who it was. But I guess that's enough rambling for one night. Um, but I wanted to stay in better touch. I've been... Sometimes it's good to talk to friends and family, and then sometimes it's good to just talk to a screen and uh, keep sharing. So anyway, I hope all's well. I hope you guys have a good night and uh, I will talk to you all soon. Take care. See you.